The call for the envelope, please, in a few weeks could herald good news for Sam Elliott, nominated for Best Supporting Actor in A Star Is Born. He's already had his share of bad news lately, as he tells Martha Teichner. So what here burned? All of it. Every, the whole. Everything. Sam Elliott has had one hell of a year, good and bad. He still can't quite process his Oscar nomination. Sam Elliott in A Star Is Born. We saw it come over the mountains. And over the ridge nearly the... losing his family's home during the California wildfire in November that burned nearly 100,000 acres in Malibu. We went through the fire in Malibu, came right over the top of us, and we stayed and poured the water on and watched the house behind us burn to the ground. And we made it through, and it burned for days. It Navigating the contradictory realities he's been living, surreal. I was going through roadblocks in the middle of the night wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> the irony here is that since 2008, my children, Smokey Bear. Sam Elliott has been the voice of Smokey Bear. Only you can prevent wildfires. I'll tell you something that's really bizarre, that struck me anyway, and that ad campaign started on my birthday. So Smokey Bear and I were born on the same day, August 9th, 1944. This is the part where I tell you I want you for myself. <laughs> Smokey Bear isn't necessarily what you think of first at the mention of Sam Elliott. The new sweet and spicy Lone Star barbecue sauce. It's the, the voice. Burt Reynolds has the best mustache ever. Says who? And the mustache. That dignity ain't for sale. It's not and the rugged, upright characters he's been playing for decades on television and in more than 50 movies. But let's start with the voice. Hey. What? I just want to take another look at you. Bradley Cooper copied it in A Star Is Born. Elliot played Cooper's brother in the film. Thanks for the ride. Sure thing, Jack. I'd never met Bradley before this endeavor with him. I mean, I went to his home one night, and Bradley talked to me about his vision. And he also played that audio tape that he had been working on with a voice coach in which he was trying to imitate my voice. I told you I can't wear those things, but I wear them, it's just in my head. And I, and I remember him saying, this is gonna sound a little strange or a little weird, and it did. It sounded very weird because he sounded very much like me. Growing up in California and Oregon, Elliot dreamed of being a Hollywood actor. His father disapproved. I heard him say the proverbial line about He's got a snowball's chance in hell of having a career in that town one time to my mom. But guess what? Half a day's ride, we'll be home. Elliot got work, frequently in westerns. If we're gonna have a future in this town, it's gotta have some law and order. Of course, the law mustache order, didn't to hurt. Do with you, Wyatt, it's got to do, to do with me. I don't believe this. Tell me whether your mustache has affected your career. <laughs> I don't know. I think the best one I probably had was in Tombstone. How you doing there, dude? Not too good, man. The one in the Big Lebowski was a good one. Sometimes you eat the bar. And... Sometimes the bar, he eats you. After Lebowski, instead of resisting typecasting, Elliot embraced what his inner cowboy stands for. Over time, I started running into people. They'd just say, thank you for what you do. And they'd talk about the character. They'd talk about the integrity. They'd talk about the things that mattered to me. I'm Betsy. How do you do, Betsy? Sam Elliot goes I'm all aw shucks. Man. I've never thought about that. <laughs> when I suggest he's still regarded as a sex symbol at 74, I would imagine that's fairly flattering. Of course it is. Mm. Totally flattering. <laughs> Happily married for more than 30 years to actress Catherine Ross, the father of a 34-year-old daughter, Cleo. He's just as self-deprecating 
about the attention he's getting this award season. You've been out there for 50 years developing as an actor, and now suddenly it's, it's Sam Elliott season. <laughs> it's like duck season. <laughs> Comes and goes. Music is essentially 12 notes between any of you. Except that guy Sam Elliott's been playing all those years has gotten wiser and deeper. It's the same story told over and over. And become a star along the way. You know, I played bad guys a couple of times and I didn't enjoy it. I just don't want to go there. There's enough of that negative stuff out there in the world. I'd rather make people feel good or make them cry or make them, you know, make them look inside themselves and know that they're not alone.